All right, today we will be installing Python to a Windows device. Let's get straight into it. We do not play around over here. Go to Python download or download Python, whatever it is. You can just click on this first one here from python.org. Then you can click on download Python, okay? From there, when it's done downloading, you'll press on it to open it. And then you will get a different screen here and you'll just do the auto install okay you'll do the auto install and press next when it's done and at the end of it you'll press ok okay boom done okay you can pause this video now while yours downloads and everything once that's done this is a very important step you need to go to this edit the system environment variables. Also, give the video a like if you found it valuable and subscribe if you're new. When you do that system edit variables, it'll bring you to this page. Okay? You'll go to environment variables, path, and edit. Okay? The next thing you'll want to do is type in Python. Don't press enter or anything like that. Let's see. Yeah, you might have to just type Pytho down here because for some reason, if you type Python, you don't get the option that we need. So, Pytho, this opens up on the right side. You'll click on open file location. All right, and after you open that up, you'll right click this Python here. It's the blue and yellow one. It has no white background or anything like that. You'll right click it and go to open file location. You'll grab this location by clicking on this uh, empty side on the right there and you'll copy it. It all has to be highlighted and then you can paste it into a uh, notepad and then you'll go into your scripts. You'll open your scripts you'll click on that same free area so it's all highlighted you'll copy that and you'll paste it into your notepad as well you can close this then you'll click new and you'll just add that first path that is in your notepad and you'll add it in there like this You'll click new and you'll add it in there and then you'll press OK. I will not be doing that because I already have it in here. And then after that's done, you'll grab the second one. You'll click New and you'll paste it in there as well and then click OK. All right. Once that is done, you'll press OK. I'm about to press on the X, but you will press OK. Then from here, you'll press OK again and you'll press OK again. Then scroll down and uh, type in CMD in your search bar and you'll type in Python dash dash version. Okay? And it should pop up here. If you did everything right, this should pop up with a version. Okay? If it pops up with anything else, restart your computer. Alright? Because you have Python installed. We did the installation and we added it to your path. That's what we did here, okay? If you did not add it to your path, which was that step where we took the those two paths and put it into our notebook and then we put that into our, um, that edit variable. If you did not do that, you will get an error, okay? So at this point, you should all be good. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Give the video a like and subscribe if you're new. Till next time.